Hello, welcome to Garden Chronicles. My name is James David and in today's video, I would like to share a little bit about my cane begonia plant care. If you can notice over here, this particular cane begonia, commonly known as Simbad, where it has become top heavy and fallen by its own weight. This happened due to the constant rain that the plant took a heavy beating. Now the factor here is that if I were to leave this plant, this begonia as such, eventually it might snap under its own weight. And the best thing to do is actually to place a support, something like a stick or a fast and fasten it on this particular cane begonia as it will be able to grow more firmly and sturdy in an upright manner. I must say that some cane begonias do have strong sturdy stem. But this particular one seems to have a bigger leaf span and a floppy leaves. Hence, putting a fastener, especially a support, really helps this plant to grow strong. Coming to the materials that I actually use for this particular setup, normally I use this particular stick. I find that it's very sturdy. Uh, basically, this particular one is the Pussy Willow uh, flower stock, which normally be sold during the festive season. And I find that it's very good. Initially, I've used a shorter stem, this particular stick, uh, of course, some bamboo stick or even uh, chopsticks will do. But eventually, the plant grows taller, you may have to revert it to a longer, stronger, sturdy stick for its support. Just a little information concerning a support stick. Do use something that is actually strong and sturdy and doesn't fall under its own weight. Neither rot easily because it tends to happen over time so however i find that over uh, some time like if you notice over here it does come to a stage where it is actually a wear and tear so these are the materials that i actually use i'm just replacing it back uh, using this particular long stick and also this garden wire here which i actually use which i find that it doesn't succumb to rust easily and I find that it's sturdy and durable. Also, if you notice here that I actually double pot and triple pot this simply because I want to control the element where I don't want it to get overwatered, and this actually helps the plant not to get root rot. I've actually made a separate video on this, on more detailed video on this uh, when I talk about double potting and triple potting. You can actually check it out on my earlier videos which I share about my begonia plant care. So I have actually removed all this old sticks off and I've actually reset this. If you can look carefully over here, uh, they are much more sturdier and firm and upright compared to before. Do take note about tying and fastening the cane begonia not to overly tighten them as it might cause the leaves to grow taller and uh, stunt the growth so do tie them loosely so that it does have enough support but it also have room to grow because this is one of the most important things to take note because uh, if you were to tie the fastener too tight it may cause a rot in between of the stem and you might lose the whole plant something like this if you can notice clearly i've just lightly fastened it so it does not uh, feel very tight that there is also a room for this particular cane begonia to grow i have seen some new beginner gardener have actually used a totem stick for this particular cane begonia what i want to mention to you is that cane begonias do not grow aerial roots like a philodendron or monstera so if you really want to have them uh, separately you may have to trim them and root them using a, a separate medium a water medium or something like that uh, but they do not grow aerial roots so in a way do take note of that once placing the support to check on them time to time to see if any new growth taking place and also it is also good to check through whether there's any burns or any of these things because what happens is that these types of plants especially cane begonia do tend to fall into stress and they may die easily so checking on them on at least on a daily basis or alternate leaf will actually make a lot of difference like if you look, notice over here this new particular leaf uh, make sure that it doesn't overlap or fold up under its own weight because uh, it can cause root growth so now over here if you notice that i've actually 
fasten another support stick over this particular cane begonia and is actually very well balanced and able to grow sturdily so these are the things that you need to take note of so that the cane begonia do last long in your garden space currently i'm just focusing on hardy cane begonia species and hybrids which i find that they are best with less care and maintenance which is easier to cultivate during the wet season and also able to cope during the dry and hot seasons in my garden space i have now come to the conclusion of my video if you have any questions do put them in a comment below and i try my best ability as possible to answer them if you can i would really appreciate if you can click like and subscribe and support my channel also do check on my other videos concerning begonia plant care thank you so much and have a nice day